Ready? All right. So what we did here is <clears throat> you can see that this big gap that we have here, we're gonna fill this thing in with, with a piece of sheet metal like this. So we're just gonna screw it in. So what I did is I just measured 23 inches across here to 17 from here to here. Now this is 23 inches from here to here and then 17 from here to here. Now what I'm gonna do is I made a lip here to screw into down here onto the box, but I'm gonna have to re-straighten this out and then screw it right into this panel because the manufacturer gave us these extra panels to uh, to go ahead and uh, slide this right in. So they, they almost know that these coils and this furnace is actually gonna be short for the existing ductwork. So that's uh that's what we're gonna do. So we got we got the front one cut, I got the back one cut, and I'm just gonna do both sides and then we're gonna be done with that. But one thing that we should always keep in mind is that when you're doing these kind of installs for these for these older retro uh, systems, the, like the one that was here before, <clears throat> you always have to make sure that you give yourself about another two hours for the ductwork because of this gap right here. This all takes time. So you have to make sure that you include that in your service ticket and in your time mentally and on, uh, and on the paper. So that's it.